Namaste yogis. Welcome to practice. Today we're going to start in child's pose. So just coming down, taking a deep breath in, exhaling all the way. It's okay to have the knees open or closed here. Whichever way feels comfortable and at ease. We're going to spend several breaths here today. So feeling the breath come in, filling the back ribs, expanding. And as you exhale, deeply softening the shoulders away from the neck, getting any amount longer. Let the jaw relax, the tongue. Letting the mouth broaden and just seeing what time brings. And slowly start to stretch the arms long. And notice as the arms go long, the tendency for the shoulders to come up around the ears. Just here, see, can you soften the shoulders down away from the neck? And then let's bring the hands together, interlace them. Walk the elbows in towards each other and then forward about a third on your mat, Anahata Asana. And as you take a breath, slowly letting the heart sink to the earth, pull the hips back, feeling the whole side body get longer. And there's a play of action here. Can you push down through the elbows, even as the sternum is lengthening towards the earth? Continue to wrap the triceps back. And then shift forward. Steady on the elbows, steady in the arms. We're going to lift the legs up for forearm plank pose. Let the hands be interlaced but relaxed. So the firming down is through the bones of the arms. Feel the sides of the waist rise. And you can see here. I'm bringing my legs together just to increase, to compact the outer shins, the outer thighs in, igniting the belly a little more. From the tailbone to the heels, feel the sideways rise. Take a couple more breaths, still lengthening straight out of the crown of the head, heels back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And when you're ready, you're going to step up about halfway of your capacity. So think of this as a variation of Anahata Asana or some blend. So it's a very long dolphin. You're continuing to push down through the elbows, wrap the triceps back, see if you can fill the back of the ribs, the back of the heart, any amount. You're growing long. And take one more breath and as you're ready we're going to step the feet up to your full maximum dolphin pose. And just push down into the arms. Notice the tendency for the shoulders to drop towards the ears. Keep lifting shoulder blades up the back. And when you're ready, exhale, bring the knees to the earth and come to sit back on the heels. And just grow along, feel a sense of length like Tadasana here in your seat. You're going to roll over the toes and open the knees. And as you're ready, exhale, softly fold down and in. Draw the elbows towards each other. So the back of the body is long. And the hips opening, back lengthening. When you're ready, just straightening the legs, and walking the hands back, seeing if you can bring the fingertips even with the toes. And just folding in, letting the jaw relax. When you're ready, inhale, come all the way to rise, fingers to the sky and hands to the heart. I'm going to step the feet up to the top of the mat, bringing the arms down and inhale up. When you're ready, exhale, fold, and again, bringing the fingers in the same line with the toes. When you're ready, inhale, grow long, lengthen the sternum. And as you exhale, keep that length, just bring the palms down. Inhale to rise, right into the heart. Inhale, arms raise. Exhale and fold. Some of that work again, fingers in line with the toes. 
Grow long, straight and strong arms. And then keep that length as you exhale and just the palms to the earth. Arms straight, palms reaching spine long. Inhale for length. And this time, see if you can just bring the crown of the head to the earth. So no more. Just crown of the head, palms to the earth. Inhale for length. And as you exhale, curling all the way in. Look up at your belly button. Push down through the arms. Lift the shoulders. Inhale. And as you exhale, step the right foot back. And again, bring the palms to the ground. Now this is going to be deeper, so use the blocks if you need it. Slide the left hip in into the midline. Right thigh lifting high. And when you're ready, turn the left arm up and open. Now notice the tendency for the left knee to sway out. See if you can tone that left shin into the midline towards the heart. Find the tip of the shoulder blade. Grow long if you can. Release the hand down. Step back. Plank pose. Breathe here, strong length. Slide the shoulder blades down, take a breath, shift forward, chaturanga all the way to the earth. Good, let's uncurl the toes. Leave the arms where they are, slide the palms back a little bit, base of the palm at the base of the ribs. And when you're ready, inhaling cobra, bhujangasana. Now lift the sternum, lift the shoulder heads, hug the elbows in, but slide the shoulder blades down. Release back and child's pose just where we began. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Complete breath out. Interlace the hands now the other way if you can. Elbows towards each other so the forearm, the center of the forearm, is down on the earth, the edge of the forearm. And when you're ready, walk the elbows forward so the shoulders distance. Anahata asana, hips drawing back. Still pushing down through the arm, lengthening triceps to the earth, rolling towards the third eye, in towards your periphery. When you're ready, we're going to shift forward, walk it up again, uncurl the toe or curl the toes and lift the thighs. Now imagine one line of energy here from the heels to the crown. Just grow longer. Slide the shoulder blades down. Draw the sides of the waist up. A lot of strength here in this work. Soft fingers. Yeah, take a breath. And if you can here, go ahead and try for those railroad tracks. So forearms balanced with the elbows from middle finger to elbow point. Still pushing, triceps back. And then wrapping those forearms down to the earth. And this time, all the way into your full expression of dolphin. Walk the feet up, feel the back body pushing down. Go for length. Take a breath. And when you're ready, we're going to bring the knees to the earth. Sitting back on the heels, just like the floor, getting long like Tadasana through the spine. And then rolling over the balls of the feet. Coming into a squat, open the knees maybe a little deeper this time. Maybe actually the head comes down, the chin coming to the sternum. Straighten the legs. Walk the hands back. Sink the palms if you can. Inhale all the way to rise. Fingers to the sky and everything to the heart. Stepping it to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms raise. Exhale and fold. Inhale for length. Stepping back, left leg. Palms sealed to the earth, pushing down. Feel that push. Draw the right hip in. And when you're ready, take the right arm into the air. Fingertips to the sky. Now stack the arm. Right arm stacked over the left. Can you pull the left shoulder head back? Lift up through the left thigh bone into the belly of the hamstring. The right hip wrapping towards the left heel. Grow long from heel to head. Take one more breath. Release the hand down. Plank pose. Feel the belly draw up 
Everything is a sense of buoyancy shifting forward through Chaturanga again to the earth. Lengthen the toes, inhale, cobra pose. You want the wrists right under the elbows. And then see if you can bring the legs together and maybe even lift for Shalabhasana. Pull the shoulder heads up and back. Lengthen the toes long and exhale, release. Child's pose, sink it back, stretch long. Take a breath. Inhale, shift forward for table. And as you exhale, bring both forearms to the earth. This time, forearm side plank on the left side, right arm raising. Arms stacked if you can. Let the right hip wrap forward so the pelvis is stacked right over left. Draw the belly into the back plane of the body. Take one more breath, feel the left forearm roll to the earth, and then it's going to be a little push as we transition to full Bashi Stasana. Right hand down. Inhale up, straight arm side plank on the right side, stack the feet, lift and stack the left arm over the right. Now wrap the left ribs forward. Slide the sternum through, push down through that right arm, take a breath. And when you're ready, Plank pose, look down. Shift forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right away, let the right leg rise. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it forward, drop the back heel down, warrior one, inhaling. Big stretch in the front body. Exhale, hands down. Step the left foot up to meet the right, and here we'll fold. Beautiful. Inhale all the way to rise, fingers to the sky, and hands to the heart. Inhaling, arms raise. Fold in Uttanasana. Find your length, inhale. Step back, plank pose. Beautiful. Release it all the way to the earth. This time, if you'd like to, bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers right away, lift the shoulders in. And then inhale, lift the sternum, reach the arms back, and see if those legs will slow to the sky. Inseam of the big toe, growing together and long. From the crown to the toe, inhaling. Exhale, release, child's pose, draw it back. Mm -hmm. Right away, we're starting to move now. When you're ready, inhale, shift forward, table. Exhale, forearms down. Forearm side plank on the right side. So if you can, it's okay to have the right hand any position from 12 to 3. But if you can, bring the wrist in line with the elbow. Wrap the right shoulder head, the right tricep back. And at the same time, can you take the inner point of the right wrist down to the earth? Stack left hip over right. Take a breath. Slide sternum forward. Now it's going to be a big push here. Left hand down. Forearm side plank. Vashi Stasana. Straight arm. Left arm. Right hip wraps forward. Stack in the arms. Beautiful. From crown to heel, grow longer. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg rising. Exhale, knee to nose as you curl in. Step it through, Virabhadrasana 1. The back heel spins to the earth. Inhale, arms raise. Nice. When you're ready, exhale. Place the hands down. Step the right foot up and fold in. Inhale, arms raise. Exhale, hands to the heart. And let's begin. Inhale, arms raising here. Uttanasana folds in. Find your length. Utkatasana, chair pose. Fold in. Lengthening again, sternum forward. Step back, plank pose. We're moving through vinyasa, exhaling. Inhale. 
thighs rising, exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Complete breath out. When you're ready, bend the knees. Good. And we're going to spring to the top. Hips high. Hold in. Light. All the way to rise, fingers to the sky, and again, hands to the heart. Surya Namaskar, A. Inhaling, exhale. Find your length, inhale, step or float it back when you're ready. Vinyasa, using the breath to move the shape, to feel the form, exhale. Steady breath here, so not Missing the opportunity, cultivating and practicing stillness. Sink the heels, strong arms. Beautiful. When you're ready, again, steady. Bend the knees, up and fold. All the way to rise, inhaling and right into the heart. Beautiful. Again, inhale. Fold down. Ardha Uttanasana, Chaturanga Dandasana. Ordva Mukha, Ta Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Steady three to five breaths, just depending on your breath, breath length. How full can you make the breath? Yep, and get steady. Bend the knees. Up you go. Folding in. All the way to rise. Right into the heart. Good. Last one here. Inhale. Get your length. Takes you right into Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Pausing here. Sink the heel. Let the inner thighs wrap back. Feel the front ribs fill into the back body. Good. When you're ready, inhale, right leg will rise. Exhaling, step through. Oops. Knee to nose. Exhale, stepping through, warrior one. I'm going to sink about an inch. Now, Five long breaths here, so we're really steady. Let the inner left thigh roll towards the wall behind you and cool with that right hip back in space. And as you do, let the top right shin move forward, but against that action, you got the steel almost root down into the left heel. Leave the arms rising. And we're turning to the back of the mat, warrior one at the back of the mat. Make the arms steady and strong. Reach up, bring the hands together if you can. Keep lifting, keep reaching. Sealing down into that outer point of that right heel. Take one more breath and we open for warrior two. Mm, good. Now really coming down into a 90 degree angle here in that left leg if you can. Lift up through the left side waist, pull the right hip back. And soften the shoulder blades down the back of the body. Turn on the inner knee of the back leg. Take a breath. Beautiful. And when you're ready, warrior two at the front. So really working this economy of motion, learning to move the feet with the least amount of effort possible. Less time here. When you're ready, spin the arms to the earth. Exhale, drop the back knee down. Low lunge. Keep the back toes curled up uh, under. Inhale, arms raise. And then place the... the inner wrist at the base of the thumb at the back of the crown. Almost like you had the forearm sealing the seventh, the first chakra there. Draw the elbows in. Keep lifting the low belly. Maybe turn the elbows to the sky. Now I want you to lift the head into the hands. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step the left foot up. Fold in. Beautiful. Inhale, chair pose, Uttakasana. Exhale, dive down and in. 
Find your length. Step or float it back. Vinyasa when you're ready. Inhale. Exhaling. Straight away, we'll take the left leg into the air. Exhale. Bring the knee to the nose. Inhale. Up you go. Reach. Step through. Warrior one. Beautiful. Arms raising. Bring the hands together if they can. Come in deep and down into that 90 degree angle in the front foot. Not as long here this time. Turning both legs. Warrior one. Straighten through the arms. Elbows sharpen. Pull the right hip back. Take a breath. And now warrior two. And here's our stay pose. Lift up through the right waist. Turn on the inner knee of that left leg. Beautiful. Breathe. Put the left shoulder head back. Yeah, there we go. Take one more. Switching sides. Left leg forward, warrior two. Wrap the right ribs around. Draw the belly back into the body. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing the arms to the earth. The back knee to the ground, keeping the toes curled under. Inhale, bringing the thumb side of the wrist to the crown of the head. Now hug the elbows in and start to lift the crown up into the arms. Lift the crown up into the arms as you sink forward. Let the left hip come in. Turn the elbows to the sky. Take one more breath. Go as long as you can, any amount, and then exhale, release the hands to the earth. Pick up the back knee. Let's step the right foot up and fold in again. Beautiful. Inhale, chair pose. Nice and long. Let the right arm come under Garudasana for today. The right leg over, right arm under. Bringing the inner wrist together like they could seal. And then wrap the elbows forward, shoulder blades around the ribs. Take a breath. Belly button to spine and round in. See if you can really sink here. Let the hips come down. Beautiful. Take one more breath. Squeeze the legs towards each other. And then when you're ready, good. Steady in the legs. We're going to inhale, fly away. Leg will rise, arms will rise. Exhale, bring the hands to the earth as you kick the back foot back. And we're taking that twist again, left arm to the sky, stacking the arms, opening the chest, exhale, straighten both legs. This time for a variation on pyramid pose, the right heel is up, sternum growing forward, keeping the elbows drawing in. When you're ready, you're going to bend that left knee, push down to pick up the foot, one-legged plank pose. Really challenging here, keep lifting that left waist. Keep pushing down through the arm. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, we're lowering the whole thing to the earth. Beautiful. Again, Shalabhasana, bring the arms behind the back. This time, switch the cross of the hands. Lift the shoulder heads here. You're going to reach the arms long, toes down. Inhale to rise. Beautiful. Just keep growing the legs long. Lifting the shoulder heads if you can. Open the chest, crown high. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under. Child's pose. Stretch it long. Right away, we're going to shift forward for plank, rolling through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath. When you're ready, you're going to bend the knees, steady in the arms. I'm going to hop it to the top. Beautiful. Fold in. Inhale. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Nice. Garudasana. Eagle arms. Left arm under. Left leg over this time. Sealing the legs towards each other. Draw the left hip back in space. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. And when you're ready, exhale. Roll down. And you get into that deep cat, so really drawing the belly button, the organal body to the spine. Wrap the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep lengthening the, the, the neck out of the shoulder girdle. 
Legs sealing in. Take one more breath. And when you're ready, I'm going to open the arms, lift the legs, strong straight leg if you can. Beautiful. And then exhale, place the hands down as you take the leg back. Right into lunge. Inhaling, turn the right arm open, taking that twist, stacking right arm over left. Now push down, spread your wings. Notice if that left hip wants to drop. Lift up through that left thigh bone, pulling the right hip in. And then we're straightening both legs. Sternum through. Get into the root of the right big toe. That's grounding down, outer right shin in. Beautiful. When you're ready, we're going to shift forward. Arms straight and strong. Pick up the heel and just shoot the leg back. Super steady. Nice. Now push down. Feel that steadiness. Balance right side and left side. Take a breath. Exhale, lowering all the way to the earth. Very good. You can stay with Cobra. You can stay with Shalabhasana. But if you're ready, bend the knees, reach back for the ankles, and we're coming up down your asana. Pull the shoulder heads back and around. Floyd the foot, so meaning take the root of the big toe up to the sky. Kick the shins into the hands. Take one more breath. Exhale and release. Very good. Slowly press back. Child's pose. Mm -hmm. Shifting forward. Plank plank. Exhale. Downward facing back. Inhale. Let the right leg rise. Exhale. Step forward. Warrior one, right away, inhale. And we're opening for warrior two. Big breath, exhale, sit down and up. Reverse your warrior. Parjva Konasana is side angle pose. Let the left arm reach over the ear like it could touch the wall in front of you. Yeah. And then just imagine from the fingertips to the heel, one long straight line of energy. From the crown to the tail, draw the shoulder blades down the back, hug the front ribs in, turn the heart to the sky, inhale straight away, reverse your warrior, windmill the hands down, straighten through the right leg, and let's pop that left leg up so we're in a Parjva Konasana, back heel is down. Bring the hands to the hips, and just hovering like you have plank here in the legs, Lift the belly into the back body and take the left hand down. With the right hand on the right hip, pull that right hip back in space. And then see if you can take the left arm across the left shin. Come up onto the fingertips, lined up with the big toes. And as you exhale, seal the left wrist to the earth. Turn the right fingers to the sky if you can. Keep pulling the right hip back. And then can you take the left thigh bone into the hamstring? Lean the right shoulder head back. Now grow the crown, grow the tail. Breathe into the back body, steady in the legs. Roll both in the thighs to the wall behind you. Take one more breath. Beautiful. And ready, exhale, release, hands to the earth. Step the left foot up to meet the right. And fold in. Inhaling, chair pose, Uttakasana. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, find your length. Vinyasa or down dog. Yogi's choice, yogi's time. Coming to your down and facing dog. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, let the left leg rise. Exhale. Step forward, warrior one. Back heel down, inhaling, arms open. Beautiful. Let's open, warrior two. Bring your breath, take the right ribs around. Reverse your warrior, inhaling to the fingertips. Right into side angle pose, left arm down, right arm over. And you can imagine one straight line of energy from the right fingertips to the right heel. 
Now wrap the tricep forward, that same work we've been doing. Feel that uh, uh, shoulder blade come around the rib, and then turn the heart to the sky if you can. Inhale, warrior two, straight to reverse. And then we're kicking the hands around, frame the front foot. Let's take the right foot up now, about a third of the way. Both legs straight and long. Tajva Tonasana, bring the hands to the hips. Now we're going to hover the, the torso here. So like a plank, steady in the legs, pushing down to the root of the left leg toe. Lift the shoulder heads here if you can. Take a breath. And then the right hand comes down to the inside of the left foot. And with the left hand, really peeling that left shoulder head back. And then taking the right arm off. Fingertips in line with the toes. And as you exhale, see if you can bring that right palm to the earth. Keep pulling the left hip back. Push down to the root of the, of the right palm. Lift off to the left arm, pulling the left shoulder head back. Now that right leg, can you descend? Can you slide the right thigh bone into the hamstring? Lean back if you can. Take one more breath. Release the hand down. Set the right foot up to meet the left. Hold in. Beautiful. Inhale all the way around. Fingers to the sky. And then to the heart. Beautiful. Stepping the feet about hips distance apart. I'm taking a variation on Nakarajasana today. I'm going to reach back for the right foot, bringing the heel towards the hip and the knees in the line. And then take the left arm into the air. You can't see this very well on me. But place the left hand on the back of the head. And then slowly start to kick the foot into the hand. And you're looking for that same balance. So pull the left hip back. And I want you to press the back of the head into the hand. Lift the elbow point to the sky. Take one more breath and release. Right away, we're going to go into the second side. And when you're ready, leaning in to the right foot, reaching back to the left ankle. And these will start in one line, heel to the head. Take the right arm into the air. And then as you start to kick the left foot into the hand, place the back of the right hand on the head. Keep wrapping the tricep forward, kicking the foot into the leg. Lift the elbow, let the elbow connect with the pinky to the side of the foot. Reach up, take one more breath. Beautiful, exhale and release. Bringing the legs together. Inhale, arms raise, stretch it out, exhale and fold. Inhale, get long. Exhale, step and float it back when you're ready. Vinyasa, inhale. All the way back to sit back in the system. So today we're working with Pinchamayarasana. We're working with Pinchamayarasana into Scorpion Code. So there's a couple of things we're going to need. The first thing is a strap. And if you take the loop and slide it in between the thumbs and bend the elbows, the thumb should land right at the center of the shoulder head. We're going to take a block as well. There's two ways to hold it. One is with the palms on the block. And the other is with the thumb and the index finger around the block. So find the shape that's right for you. And you'll know because either there will be a tension in the shoulders or there will be a tendency for the elbows to sort of slide out. And so none of those things. You can re relieve that with the position of the hands. I'm going to come to the wall. And for today, I'm going to take my palms down. So index finger and thumb, really holding the block. And I'm starting in that crouching child's pose, just like we did at the very beginning of class. And then coming here into dolphin. And I'm slowly going to walk it up. Still wrapping the triceps forward, so that's key. When you're ready, lift, lift the right leg. And up, up, bring the heels to the earth, push down through the elbow points, and lift up through the legs. See if you can slide the belly back. And if you can, you might be able to take one leg and then the other away from the wall. And when you're ready, you can come down. We're going 
three today. So gather your breath, get steady. And find a sense of peace even here, even in this work. And then again, coming down. This time I'm going to bring the block a little further away from the wall. So we're going to start to move into the back bend variation of this. And if that's not working for you, no problem. You can just keep staying with the work of Pincha. Eventually that will come. When you're ready, walk it up. And one leg and then the other. Up. And if you fall, good. Falling is good. Maybe you can hover this time without connecting to the wall. And then when you're ready, bring the toes to the wall. Remember, it's a little further away. But that work of pushing down through the elbows, sliding the sternum through. And then come down. Some, sometimes it's a little shorter than others. But the good news is, is you can always try again. So you practice smart and safe. You've always been so here we go. We're coming up again. This time I'm kicking up with the opposite leg. So give that a try. Inhale, up, up. And to the wall I go. Now I'm going to bend the knees. And really the focus here is not so much in the legs, but I'm wanting to slide the swimming through. I'm wanting to lengthen the crown of my head towards the wall. And the knees may bend. The toes may come down. See if you can bring the knees together. We're going one more today, and I feel pretty warm. So I'm going to give myself a rest, and then I'm going to lose the strap. So I place the strap aside. Let the breath come back so that the things we enter into, we enter into in a steady way. So we set ourselves up for success. I'm still using the block today, elbows in line with the wrists. I'm ready, I'm going to walk it out, picking up again with my non-dominant side, left side. And when you're ready, inhale, up you go. And again, the focus is sternum forward, and that's when you already tend to pull my legs into a bend. And I'm going to see here, and I'm bringing that again, sternum forward. And I you get today, that's it. Turning. Now back to the wall, just sitting steady. Let's bring the hands down now. So we're going to come into a down dog, but I'd like the heels to be at the wall. The heels at the wall. And the wall is encouraging the heels to the earth. So as I walk my arms out and I get very long in my dog, my heels are going to be invited to stay. We're going to come up, then we'll come to the fingertips, bringing the hips to the wall. So again, very long. And then folding in. We're going to slide down the wall. Coming into Baddha Konasana today, bringing the soles of the feet together. And we have a block. Hopefully you have one. You can also use a blanket. And what, happen, what tends to happen in Baddha Konasana is as the knees bend and you bring the heels in, the back tends to round. So I'd like you to take the block and place it actually around the low ribs, around 212, so that the thoracic spine goes forward and the tailbone can go back. And then just breathe. This feels really nice after all that. You've done a great job today, Yogi. Excellent practice. When you practice, no matter the shape of the pose, done enthusiastically, with intention, pace, and gentleness, is a practice that invites us more deeply into understanding and cultivating again that deeper insight into our own creation. The practice will end here today. You're welcome to move into any other hip opening that feels right to you, a forward fold, 
and as always, coming in to the release of three to ten minutes of Thank you so much for your practice. Namaste.